Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for joining me for a new video. Today I figured I would just show you what I spent the bulk of my day doing. In case you're wondering, like, what the heck does he do all day? So, it's probably not going to surprise most of you, but in addition to, like, running some print-on-demand upload automation, I was also prepping the next month of uploads to uh, Amazon Seller Central via some software that I call POD Turbo. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about exactly what it is that I'm doing and how I'm using that software in order to do what you see behind me in these pictures, which is take a nice looking design that I optimized for Amazon Merch and then get it looking really nice on some other products, coffee mugs, shot glasses, tumblers, etc. So real quick, before I dive into that though, let me introduce myself for the new viewers. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.8 million on Amazon to date. I've got a print on demand giveaway that if you would like to enter, it's completely free. Use the top link in the description and we're giving away $500 in prizes to two lucky winners each. I have a print on demand mini course delivered to your inbox over eight days. You can take advantage by clicking the link in the description. I've also got a print on demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. And last but not least, I wrote a full print on demand course. It's over 80 lectures, 10 modules, and I'm constantly expanding it. So if you want to check that out, there's also a link in the description. All right, so first, you need some good-looking designs. I really, really, really think that if you're not making quality designs, you shouldn't probably watch this video because if you're not, it, it doesn't matter really what you do with print-on-demand. If your designs aren't good, you're probably not going to make sales. So first and foremost, just like I, I teach a very easy-to-understand, simple approach to making good designs. Like in this case, uh, we outsourced the design element to our friends at all sunsets where it's like 27 bucks for an annual license and then i did a curved text tutorial which i think complemented the design really well so if you missed that video check it out i'll put a, a link in the youtube cards right there above my head and once you have at least one good design and i mean in this case what i'm going to walk you through i actually do batches of 100 designs at a time so maybe when you wait till you get up to 100 your call but either way, what I'm going to show you is what I did today. Uh, and again, it's all really optimized for Amazon merch. Like that's where I start. So I do my niche research on Amazon. I do my designs optimized for t-shirts and specifically Amazon merch. And the reason I do that is because the profit potential there is higher than really any anywhere else in my mind, anywhere else that I'm aware of. Because you're selling prime eligible products on the world's number one e-commerce marketplace. You guys know the deal. So Amazon merch for me takes priority. Next up, I take my designs and I segment them in a folder where I put 100 designs and then another folder put 100 designs, another folder put 100 designs. And I'm using a templated approach to designing quality in bulk. So I might have a design that says like world's best doctor, world's best teacher, etc. And I have some software that can automate the um, inserting of text and then downloading. And uh, I'll show you that at the end of this video, but I just wanted to let you know that's how I'm doing this at scale. So I might run that software, get 500 designs, and then I'll make five folders and put 100 unique designs in each one. Now then what I do is I take all the designs from one folder, so 100 at a time, put them in bulk resize photos, resize them to 3600 by 4500 pixels, and then I can use them on my POD turbo slash gear bubble products that I'm going to show you in a second. But just so you know, this is a part of the workflow. Uh, downloading them is easy. You download them in a zip file. Then I extract them. Uh, then I have a template in Excel that's in the exact format POD turbo needs. But here's what I do to make it easier. I have them in an Excel workbook with formulas so that I can do everything at scale pretty easily. Like I strategically name the files with the primary keywords I need. Then I go and I rip that out of the file name. I insert that into the Excel formulas. I save it so that I'm able to take 100 designs and then create 200 products just like that in one CSV file in the format POD Turbo needs. And without going into too much detail on what that actually entails, because if you end up signing up for POD Turbo, you can find all of that also, I'm going to share all of this in the uh, bonus section of my print-on-demand course. Like I said, I'm constantly expanding it. But it's a simple process to crank out a bunch of good-looking products with, you know, templated designs, really. I mean, I'm making it sound simple because I've made it simple. Uh, by the way, POD Turbo integrates with Gearbubble. It's the only production partner they integrate with right now. 
but Gearbubble has quite a few good looking print on demand products that work really well with the t-shirt optimized designs. Now I say t-shirt optimized because I'm not trying to sell like a design that's optimized for a t-shirt on a mask. I, I, it's not going to look good. I don't want to waste my own time doing that if I don't think there's a good chance of customers liking how it comes out. Because like we said when we were doing the Redbubble shop reviews the other day, t-shirt designs are optimized portrait and mask designs are optimized landscape. So I just, it's not worth my time. But let me show you some uh, products that are worth my time that I think look really good that I was uploading today. Well, not uploading, but I was doing the prep for. What's cool about POD Turbo real quick is that you upload the zip file with your actual files and you upload a CSV. You upload them as a pair. And then if everything checks out on their server, they do all the mock-up renderings and they store it server side and they integrate with your Amazon Seller Central account. They actually have other integrations, but I'm only using them for Seller Central. Uh, I pretty much prefer Printful for the rest. But uh, it's been working so well that like it just integrates with Seller Central and it pushes 200 products a day. It pretty much just pushes them all day. And then you get an email that says, you've uploaded 200 products today, et cetera. So I'm doing like a month's worth of uh, design and upload preparation today. And then I, it's, it's hands off for me after that. So once a month, I'm just gonna be doing what I did today. Anyways, so what I am uh, converting my designs into are coffee mugs. And you can do an 11 ounce white coffee mug, 15 ounce white coffee mug. Uh, the base cost for 11 ounce is $4.95, 15 ounce, $7.95. So I'm aiming to make $10 profit per sale for these products and pretty much every product that I'm gonna show you except with a couple exceptions. So they've also got 11 and 15 ounce black mugs. The 11 ounce base cost is $7.95. I sell that for $17.95. 15 ounce black mug is $9.95. I'm selling it for $19.95. If that sounds like a lot for a coffee mug, I'm also charging for shipping and I've sold plenty. Again, if you've got what somebody wants, for the most part, they'll pay. Uh, the two-tone mugs, that's also available through Gearbubble. And just so you know, like when I'm changing from the white mugs to the black mugs, like I've got a Excel workbook where I can just change one column, like change one word, double click it, and then it just applies to all of the columns. And then I just save that as a CSV. Boom, upload it again to POD Turbo. The whole process is easier than it sounds, I promise. And then boom, we go to the two-tone mugs. So now I'm switching uh, another couple columns. I'll, I'll, I'm also changing the price, by the way. So in the in the CSV, I'm basically, well, I, in the workbook, I change, you know, the price. I change the category, which has a little category code for the coffee mug versus the uh, two-tone mug. And then there's also a subcategory. So it all, you know, the subcategory might just be the ounces, like 11 ounce versus 15 ounce, et cetera. Another column for color. So you can knock out all of these if you want. I think that's a little overkill. So I usually take like two of the colors, honestly. So I'm, I might make 100 red mugs and 100 blue mugs um, because, again, we have batches of 100 designs, so it makes sense. And then also because you upload 200 products a day, um, I just do CSVs of 200. Oh, yeah. And pricing-wise, so the base cost $6.90. My sale price is $16.95, so I net $10.05 per sale of the two-tone mugs. Boom, shot glasses. Who doesn't like a nice shot glass gift? Uh, also, it's a nice way of like separating yourself from the crowd, you know, because a lot of people are thinking along the lines of, oh, yeah, I'll sell coffee mugs or hats or T-shirts. But shot glasses are, I think, a little bit of a uh, pocket that's not as competitive. So I always take advantage of them. Also, the base cost is awesome, $2.95. So you could be listing shot glasses at $9.99 and still making a decent margin, probably like three to four bucks. Um, but I'm trying to make $10 per sale, so I list them at $12.95. And uh, by the way, you don't make profit off of Gearbubble fulfilled products because whatever you charge for ship, well, I guess in Amazon you control the shipping, but uh, they charge flat rate shipping. So, but anyways, I'm aiming to make 10 bucks per shot glass. And um, you know, I've, I should actually do a review on these now that I think about it because I've ordered them to myself before. I've given them as, as gifts before. And I really like these. And they actually come out looking exactly like you see there in that mock-up, which is a little weird. It's like white on the outside, black on the inside. Um, anyways, I always think if the shot glass is black on the inside, you can't really tell what's in there, right? Because any color, liquor or liquid, is uh, it's going to be kind of invisible. All right, so then I upload to travel mugs. Uh, again, in the CSV, I'm just changing a couple codes, changing the pricing. Don't forget to change the title. If you are actually editing the CSV, otherwise edit in the Excel workbook. Change one column, product type. It'll feed in the product type to the title if you let it, uh, like I do in my workbook. So there are some benefits of learning this from me in my course. Uh, but the base cost for the travel mug, $9.95. I sell it at 
profit 10 bucks still going now so they also support tumblers they have seven different colors just make sure that your design actually looks good against the tumbler because you don't want to be dealing with returns on amazon because you had blue text on a blue background for instance in this case so make sure you choose your colors wisely uh so as you can see here the other three colors so pretty good color selection there uh, the base cost so they have a, a 20 ounce tumbler and a 30 ounce tumbler the 20 ounce base cost is 11.99 30 ounces 12.99 so if you're only going to do one size you might as well do the 30 ounce right it's only a dollar more on the base cost but it can justify a higher price point so i sell the 20 ounce tumblers for 24.95 the 30 ounce for 29.95 and that commands a healthy profit of 12 dollars 96 cents for the 20 ounce 16.96 for the 30 ounce and then the camper mug so pod turbo doesn't have uh, support for the camper mug yet but or at least it's not in their documentation so i haven't tried i'm gonna reach out to them uh, after this but the base cost is seven dollars 95 cents sale price 17.95 make 10 bucks and again designs look really good against it as long as you optimize your designs to be sold against both white and black backgrounds which is something i've been doing more of lately i was actually talking to one of the students in my amazon merch course today i was doing um a review of a couple of their designs and like the first thing i noticed was like the text just wasn't standing out really well against even parts of their own design but i guess without getting into too many specifics i was like hey you know if you use a stroke on the text it will give you a lot more flexibility and also it'll be easier for people to read that design or the text in the design when they see it in the thumbnail which you guys that are subscribed to my youtube channel you already know if you can't read the text on the design in the thumbnail it doesn't matter what marketplace or what product we're talking about you are doing yourself a disservice you're reducing the likelihood of getting clicked if you don't get clicked you can't get bought so just always be thinking that way and this is the last product that i think looks good with portrait oriented designs clearly it's a pillowcase so landscape oriented designs probably look better but i've sold a good number of pillowcases and i'm always optimizing for t-shirts keep that in mind so when i say i've sold pillowcases i've sold them with portrait oriented t-shirt oriented or t-shirt optimized designs and they actually the base cost is seven dollars 95 cents so you can get away with charging 17.95 or even 19.99 i've probably sold the most personally at 19.99 but for me doing the bulk uploads with pod turbo uh, i just aim you know keep it simple charge the ten dollar profit and uh, move on but i've been using gear bubble since 2017 so i've also manually uploaded a lot of pillowcases and then gotten most of my sales at that 20 dollar price point also just wanted to share with you guys like automate pod is the software that a friend and i built it's a chrome extension you can find a link in the description if you want to check it out but it helps you create the bulk designs so you can check that box without without having to do a bunch of manual labor to create 500 designs uh, and then from there after you've uploaded to pod turbo well you've created uploads on pod turbo it uploads for you so you don't actually have to do anything then go check out somebody like flying upload which is going to take care of upload automation to all of the other relevant print on demand platforms including merch by amazon display redbubble kdp spreadshirt society six shirty t public fine art america threadless printful zazzle teespring and they're constantly expanding the platforms that are supported so check them out as well they also uh, sponsor our weekly giveaways so shout out to flying upload you can find a link in the description to them as well very user friendly and that's all I wanted to talk about in this video today. I was feeling inspired. I was like, I don't know what to do a video about. Why don't I just talk about what I did today? And this is really like one day per month for me. And it's going to take less time in the future because uh, I've just kind of optimized. Like I always say, every time you iterate through these processes, if you can optimize the workflows, you're going to save more time. and It's going to become easier and easier in the future. Uh, also, you know, it's okay to learn from somebody like me that is really hyper-focused on optimizations like that. But also, just so you know, guys, like, I put in the manual work i'm not trying to say that everybody needs to be doing the fully automated print on demand workflows because you need to put in the the work initially too so that you understand the business you know i did 13,000 manual product create products created on amazon merch before i ever uploaded something there and i had 14,000 products on seller central fbm print on demand through gear bubble before i ever uploaded or automated uploads there so just so you know like i've put in the work i've been doing this for almost four years now and yeah i hope that you guys learned something from this video if you have questions hit me up below everything i talked about in this video i'll put links in the description but thanks guys for watching till the end if you haven't already hit that like button and if you want to subscribe that would be awesome and i'll see you guys tomorrow passive income school is open enroll now at ryansmethod.com thank you